Hey, what is up beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melly if you're new here. And today we have some Asian products from Stylevana. The company reached out to me and asked if they could send me some stuff. And I thought I'd go ahead and do a full first impression try on for you guys. I'm a little scared just because I don't know if the color is gonna match, how it's gonna work, the whole nine yards, but fingers crossed that this is going to work. And yeah, so we'll go ahead and talk about the products and they have so many cute things from Disney. I'm thinking of actually purchasing a few of them. Let me know if you guys would like a old school haul. I am on a low, low buy this year, but I will be purchasing, you know, a little, a little bit here and there. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the video. The first thing that they asked me for my shade was in this pony effect. And this is the Everlasting Cushion Foundation. This has an SPF 50. And they, in Asian markets, you know, are really about skincare and their foundations have a lot of skincare in them. And I was really surprised that the expiration date on here is for 2022. So this bad boy will last you basically two years. And then once you open it, this is what the packaging looks like. And like this, and it comes with like a little sponge. And I'm going to, I think, insert it into here or, oh, there's already one in here. Okay. How cool. So it already has one in there and then it comes with another one. That is so cool. So you're basically getting like two for one, which is amazing. So that is what it looks like. I'm hoping that the color matches me. Okay, let's just snap. Let's just snap this all into place so it doesn't pop out. Okay, there it goes. That is the shade that I picked. It was the one that I felt that looked the closest to my skin and you do get a nice mirror. It does have the little film on it. Okay, we are going to start out. I don't have any primer on my skin, so I'm gonna go ahead and just prime my skin and come back. Now that I have primed my skin, we are going to go ahead and jump into this bad boy and see how he works. It does come with its own little tiny sponge, but I'm gonna use my own just because of personal preference and see how this applies. Ooh, maybe, I think this might be a little too light, but we can make it work. We can make it work. What I'm gonna do is apply it and then I'll apply a darker powder just to kind of help it a little bit. But let's do half of my face. It's so lightweight. This is so beautiful and natural looking. Can you already see a like the glow that it gives? And here is half of my face with the foundation. I am in love with this. This looks so glowy and natural. It just enhances your skin, which I absolutely love. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Did I just say absolutely twice? Yes, but it is. It is beautiful. It just brings out the radiance in your skin. You can still see my little age spots here. It does have very, very minimal coverage. If you're looking for a medium to full coverage, it's probably not for you, but if you love that very natural, glowy glow, <laughs> you're really gonna like this. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side of my face and we're gonna test out the powder that came in the package. Next thing that came in the package is this Hamish and it comes with a little powder puff as well and it is a sebum control setting powder. Basically, it's a mattifying powder. It says velvet powder packed. We're gonna go ahead and just try to set my makeup a little bit with this. I don't wanna lose too much of that glow. Also, I think I might need just a little bit of one of my, one of my own powders just because I feel like I look almost a tad bit gray just to kind of bring a little bit of life back into my skin. Yeah, you can definitely see where this is mattifying. Can you tell the difference between this side and then this side? <laughs> I think this powder would be really good as a touch-up powder for those who have oily skin. 
or if you want to mattify certain areas of your skin you could use this and then we are going to try this look at that is that not the cutest little thing ever if you are not a Disney fan you probably have no idea who this is but this is actually Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast when I saw this I basically had a heart attack because I'm a sucker for cute packaging and that is the cutest thing ever and it's actually a blush and then when you open it look at that oh my god it's the little details for me I love when something is just so cute but that is the shade that they sent me it's a very very light light peach we will see we shall see how this applies on my cheeks I'm trying to see if I have yeah a clean brush and let's see because this is very very light I probably would have chosen a, something a little bit darker but we'll see I'm gonna pack it on just to see if I can get some kind of effect on my cheeks just a very subtle natural I do want to see what other characters they have because if you look down below, I actually have a Disney Instagram because that's how much I love Disney. Um, this is very subdued and natural. And here's what it looks like on. I think it looks very natural, very beautiful. It really goes with that Korean style of beauty. I want to see what other characters they have and if they have maybe a little bit of a deeper shade that might pop a little bit more on the cheeks. But I feel like this is ev like very beautiful for anyone who wants an everyday blush that just gives you a little subtle mm, on the cheeks. Next thing we are going to play around with is the Fork Eyebrow Tint. They sent me the shade Dark Brown. I'm a little scared of this because it's actually a fork. So it has the three little prongs or four little prongs going up. And we're going to use Miss P here and see. I don't know. It doesn't say how to use it, but we're just going to play around and see okay oh how cool it actually makes strokes of little hairs which is really cool and that's one eyebrow filled I do have to oh that's a little dark but what I'm gonna do is just use my spoolie and brush it out. Here are the finished eyebrows nice and filled in. I went ahead and blended it out because of the fact that I don't really need hair drawn on there just because of how full my eyebrows are but it did fill in those little gaps which I like to do with eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna try to show you guys a close-up right now of what the pen kind of marks. So I did a few strokes on my hand so hopefully I don't know if you guys can tell but it has those little strokes on there there it goes there it goes here now it's and that's what it applies to on the eyebrow it's very subtle very nice very soft and looks like little small strokes of hair which I really really enjoy I hate when you use something for eyebrows especially and it goes in like super dark that you're like holy moly <laughs> this is way too much and yeah so I like the fact that it looks very natural very beautiful and it blends in like a dream next thing that we're gonna play around with is the eyeshadow palette they sent me one from this brand McQueen New York come on out okay that's what it looks like small little palette oh wow that is so tiny <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me show you guys this is the palm of my hand that's that's how big this is so these are super tiny little eyeshadows and I have one two three shimmers and the rest are matte this seems perfect for traveling <laughs> just going on the go just because you have so many neutral what I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my eye and we can do one eye together together 
I went ahead and primed my right eyelid. We're gonna go ahead and jump into this middle shade right here. I just feel like this looks like a, a gorgeous transition shade. It does have a little bit of kick up. We'll see how these apply. Oh wow, look at that. That is super pigmented. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be super soft and subtle because a lot of Korean makeup is about that, about just enhancing your natural beauty. But McQueen did not come to play. Next, I'm gonna go in with this terracotta shade. It's just calling my name. And we're going to darken the crease a little bit more. And like I said, there is a little bit of kickback, so you want to definitely dust off your brush. And I'm going in just with a beige matte and cleaning up those edges. Then on the outside of my lid, I'm going in with the lighter copper shade. Did I say copper? <laughs> I mean terracotta. The lighter terracotta shade. Okay, I actually like that terracotta shade so much. I'm just gonna apply it all over the lid. And then we'll do a little bit of a shimmer on the inner corner. And for underneath the lash line, I'm going to use the shade that we used in our crease. I'm just going to keep it a little bit lighter down there. And we are going to play with the McQueen waterproof pen gel. And this is in deep black. Oh yes. And this is my favorite type of eyeliner is the one that has all the little bristles of the brush style. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a nice, ooh, I like this. It's not too watery and it just goes on nicely and it dries very, very black and matte, which is always a plus. That is so nice. That is such a good liner. This has now become one of, we shall keep playing with this, but I can already see this becoming one of my favorites. I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off of camera, put some lashes on and come back to play with the lip product that they sent and then give you guys my final thoughts on everything. I applied some lashes, added a little bit of concealer and brightness underneath my eyes because I needed it and I had a whole bunch of fallout. So my under eyes are looking a little crusty, but we're just gonna go with it and try this very last product, which is the Wine Lip Tint Velvet. And this is in Cognac Red. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Uh, oh my god, that is so cute. It's a little wine bottle. If you are a wine lover, then you probably need this in your life. And I'm sure that they have other shades available. So this is a liquid lipstick. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then we'll try this on together. Just to kind of give a little bit of form to my lips and then we're gonna go ahead. Oh, this is tinted. And it feels so velvety. And here is the shade, very, very cute. I love the little wine bottle. I wasn't expecting that, but that is so cute. Very, very cute packaging. This is the finished look. I have to say I really enjoy the pony effect. I did have to kind of just bronze up my face a little bit and add a little bit more color to it. So I would have maybe tried a darker shade. I also really love the blush, the, oh my God, the packaging on here, adorable. And then it's, a very light blush but it still looks very natural and beautiful I want to see what other characters and shades they have available this I can already tell is gonna be one of my favorite liners I love liners like this that are the pen where it has the little hairs at the end it applies gorgeous it's very controlled not too watery and it dries matte amazing 
the what else this is probably the thing that I would probably use the least maybe put it in my purse and use it to touch up as far as like when you get oily but I think that this would be the least of the things that were sent to me the brow pen really surprised me how good the quality of the brow pen was and then this these <laughs> this little wine lip tint was so adorable I love the packaging I love the shade very very comfortable on the lips and it is a velvety formula and it's very very pigmented as well very nice and comfortable and that is it for all the products that they sent me let me know if you guys like this kind of video because maybe i can keep doing more of like get ready with me try on kind of video and i forgot to mention one last product which was the eyeshadow palette i think that this is really nice for the value how many shades you get in here very travel friendly you do get a quite a bit of kick up but i feel like you could get a lot of beautiful looks from this or incorporate other things with it so really nice and it blended really nice as well especially the shades that I tried out so I would definitely have to keep playing around to see about the other shades but overall I think that these are really nice and just looking through their website a lot of the things that they had on there are super affordable and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys